and we're live. All right, this time we're gonna beat scenario seven. time I'm well we're, we're playing pretty greedy that's the goal we want to get many levels as possible without killing the commander and we know Lance is gonna come with two horse commanders so we got to deal with that and that's okay everybody to manual. That'll prevent the units from moving on their own. Always a good idea. You can get yourself into trouble real quick. Alright Bayard, do your thing buddy.
begins. So having Sabra as a knight makes this more difficult because uh, she can't build archers. It'll be worth it though. I don't want to keep her as a knight very long. Hopefully we can get everybody to their next promotion so we can quickly get her to hers. Because Lord knows she'll need it. Just like we need to get Calais away from being a warlock. Because yikes, it is glass cannon. 17 defense with the shield. Okay, that's a little surprising. I don't know, I just, I figured they would, uh, I don't know. doing really good. I feel like he's killing a lot more troops a lot quicker than normal. Maybe I'm wrong. It's hard to tell anymore. I'm not paying enough attention, I suppose. his old tricks. Feeding the enemy commander. Big bad. Big bad there, Baird. Very bad play. How did I allow that to happen? Not ideal. there, buddy.
torches doing their job. out of range. That was a big screw up.
Wait, why is that still on the screen? That needs to stop. How do I get rid of that? Does that just stay there the whole time? Why? Ugh. That really pisses me off. Okay, whatever. slaughter these damn soldiers.
Okay, that was not bad at all. It's not ideal, but I just want to force the Serpentite onto the land sooner than later. It's just probably better for us, I think. We'll see how that goes. It's a bit of a gamble, but I want to speed that process up. So yeah, it is what it is. I think I'm going to... Whatever. Okay. Not ideal, but good enough. better than I expected if I'm being honest. So it's good. Oh, are they crossing the bridge? Defense held up. Come on, attack 
sugar from the water, you know you want to. Okay. We'll do that. They're actually using their brain for once. Okay, that's fine though. Job done, Tipper Rob. Maldabon, is this an older version of DFO? <laughs> uh, it's it's an old it's a game from 1991. We'll put it that way. <laughs> a uh, Sega Genesis strategy game. This the original version of DFO, the ancient one. Also, I have no idea why is it doubling my chat. I'm gonna lose my mind if this thing does not stop doing that. It's like, uh, Count settings. Uh, it's like, why does it keep putting all these notifications on the stream? Guess I can't fix it. Oh well. But 
Basically, yeah, it's a, uh, a simple pleasure game, Maldabon. It's definitely a... Uh, it's just satisfying finding ways to get your, com your commanders upgraded. It's really the, the whole dopamine hit. good this time. He may not last. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not moving quick enough. I gotta get up there and help him again. power boost. Huge. Never really played any of these. I don't think I played Dark Omen for PS1 maybe, but I'm not sure if it did the cutaway combat stuff. I'll have to look into that. I've never heard of that game. Uh, yeah, but th this game is called War Song, and it also went by Land Grisser 1 and 2, and it was on Sega Genesis. I think they might have came out with the, uh, it might, there might even be a ver some versions on Sega Saturn, I believe, as well. So there's some cool stuff out there. Uh, she might be able to steal a kill here. That was stupid. She's out of range. Yeah, that's why you don't do that. But my goal is to get, you know, you want to get all the kills and then kill the commander. So you get maximum value. Um, I forgot she's out of... Oh, she can... Okay. Oh. Okay, well that's fine, because he can move... We can have this guy start... Us. Uh, we gotta start running these guys up there anyway, so it's fine. We gotta get these guys' attention, so... It's a bit of a tricky uh, point, turning point here. I think we're fine though. I think we're, we're actually maybe even, if not ahead of schedule, we're not behind. And because these guys are not coming up here, at least I hope they're not, then we should be okay. yet. Uh, I think we're okay. Now if this guy is really heading over here though, let's get him there. Get all our, our our tree line protected as much as we can, of course. Because they might be fighting him for a while. So. 
So, all right, let's see how this goes. Now this commander up here is controlled by AI, and we're trying to protect him. He makes some bad choices, though. Not every turn, but most turns. Okay, yeah, he, he's really low on troops. He's kind of getting swarmed. Ooh, that's not what I wanted to happen. Oh no. Yeah, her defense is low. But I think she'll survive the turn. He faked us out. Yeah, that, that's really bad. <laughs> Ooh, man, that's... He, he went... He just straight pivoted out of nowhere. Oh, thank God the archers survived. If those archers died there, they'd definitely get through to the commander and kill her, and I'd have to restart again. Wow. They totally juked me out there. I thought for sure that Serpent Knight was going to race up to us. Or race to the left. Yeah, they're already attacking him, so that's really bad. no way I can get to that troop without endangering the rest of my squad. I just gotta kill this guy. I mean, she's, she's an entire promotion higher than him. She has a defensive item. I, I just don't under... Well, it's just bad rolls, is what just happened. Alright, her soldier... Here can kill this guy for sure. The tricky part is seeing if her other soldier here can kill this guy. How do I keep her alive? Oh, this is bad. Uh, gotta kill this guy. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, gee, that's, that's really bad. That's really bad. That guy will be attacking. There's going to be three attackers. soften these guys up a little bit with a few units. I gotta do something. I have to use some damn outer range archers to keep her alive, probably. I don't even know if I can. Ugh, this is such a bad turn. <laughs> Oof. Uh, yeah, these guys are just gonna have to come up here with Garrett. I... I gotta really take it to that guy. I think... As long as I don't burn through... 
too many archers down here. That should be enough. I think they'll be okay. I kind of put myself... You probably didn't see my whisper in DFO, but if you want to try to do a book call practice in a different day, I can join. Whenever next time is, we can get on Discord so I can explain a bit better. Yeah, that sounds great. I didn't. I, I probably missed the message. I'm sorry. Or I had it minimized on my computer. Yeah, I actually did one for uh, about 30 minutes today, and uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna definitely uh, want to do some more of that for sure. So, I I mean I feel pretty good. Uh, it was just I don't think I screwed up on the basilisk thing today uh, with the yellow orbs, but I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, that sounds good to me. Definitely down to get more practice in on that for sure. Jeez, it's so slow. Just get in the water. But yeah, I think I'm. I mean, I don't think I made a single mistake on the actual Bacall fight. Because I feel like. But I, never, I mean, I've never done really like phase two for any length of time, but I feel really good in like holding Bacall doesn't feel bad. All right, we might die here, but we'll see how this turn goes. And then we did the Frozen Dragon. Uh, it wasn't... Uh, we didn't finish the Frozen Dragon, though. Because we ran out of time because of a different group or something with lag. I don't remember. Okay, so they chewed through her guardsmen, but... We're not going to be able to kill her. Okay, yes, yeah, so we're fine. Oh, scary. Very scary. pressure off Bayard, and we kept that troop alive, maybe? Probably not. Okay. So he'll still have two units. Ooh. If that unit stayed alive for one more attack, that would have been massive. Damn. Okay, that's good. So he'll have four and nine health those little units next to him will heal. Uh, this is just annoying. God. These guys really need help over here. How was your satyr for one of them? You did okay. Just looked a bit indecisive sometimes. We see did, seem to do okay on Basilisk. The call was fine, but I don't think it made you go out for blazing, blazing Flame, which would have been good to practice. Uh, yeah, that was weird. It didn't target me either time for that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think it did. Indecisive? Yeah, so uh, what was happening to me? Oh, yeah, it was like... Uh, it's like seeing all the people moving on the screen. I don't know which orb to go for sometimes. It's it's like I know I'm going for the yellow orb, but then it's like, oh, my bar's too high, and then I can't find a green orb. And I would, so yeah, I probably just need to practice that one more. Uh, 
These guys really just have to guard her right now, which I think they're... We'll be, we're actually fine here. This is kind of a stalemate. Um, so actually we're in a good spot now. Guy, we'll see. Uh, we need to keep these. These two gotta start healing though. Uh, over here, Garrett's fine. I mean, he'll just wreck all these guys now. And I want to get into good. Uh, Yeah, good positions. There we go. That's that's pretty good. Okay, now level five is big because now uh, Garrett will have an enhanced heal. It's going to have more power, so that's great. I'm actually not even worried about, believe it or not, I'm not worried really about this guy. I'm worried about this guy doing something stupid is what I'm worried about. Um, as long as he stays on his fortification and heals his troops, he's fine. If he jumps down here and starts trying to fight, he's going to get killed. That's my concern. Uh, making do with three archers, it should be plenty. This guy won't do anything while this unit's healing, so he's effectively out of the fight. That's it. Let's see what Bayard does. Okay, nothing terrible here. Yes, for Basilisk, I mean, you just go for them. If someone else gets it first, not much you can do. Tough to not fight over them at least a little. You finished the gimmick, so it wasn't a big deal. Okay, right. But no, I, I definitely agree. I, 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 I think, I think you're right. I definitely need to practice that one more to get way smoother at that step. All right. I'm actually screwing up. Okay, let me think. about is uh, how to get these guys in range to heal to him. Well, he's got two archers left, so he's not really that scary right now. And I'm on good fortifications, so that's a good, strong setup. He should be fine. He's going to keep using his troops, so he's not going to attack with this guy. He's going to heal with this guy. He's going to attack with this one and stay here. This guy's only gonna... well, that's gonna be a 9, so he's gonna attack with both of these. Well, this is gonna attack that. From here to here, that's not a bad fight. So, he'll only have to worry about this one. This guy might attack one of my troops, that's fine. Uh, over here is interesting. Yeah, I just gotta keep killing these. Because I don't want him healing up multiple troops, so he only has now one troop he can heal. 
He's got none. He's gonna heal this turn. I've gotta heal this turn. That's gonna that troop's gonna heal. We're gonna have this troop heal. Uh That's fine. I think... This unit's gonna actually probably end up attacking him now that I think about it. But he won't attack. His commander won't attack till this guy attacks. So once all his troops are dead, he'll attack. So my thought is... If he... If these two fight... He can clean up from the water and get a nice bonus. So he can kill him, but then he's gonna fight next turn, and that's bad. Uh, hmm. I think we just need to move further inland, actually, would be the smart thing to do. Especially since all these guys still have to catch up anyway, that's fine. A bit of an awkward mission. It's not my favorite because uh, you're relying on this guy not to get himself killed, so you can get all the extra juicy troops. Let's see how it goes. And he picks really bad angles. I think that's a really bad way to attack that archer, even though he came out slightly ahead. Still not ideal. So this may not look intelligent, but it's the perfect way. Keeping these guys with one unit each is actually... Oh shit, he has no units left. Okay, so I actually misplayed that really badly. So this guy is going to just continue to use his troops. This guy, we don't know what the heck he's going to do next. He's probably going to attack my archers. Oh, that's fine. Uh, uh, this spot's so awkward. She's just got to heal. She has to heal. She can probably just kill these lizard men, but that's even dangerous. Actually, everything's kind of dangerous. Uh... He's attacking this turn no matter what. Okay, that's perfect. Um, that's perfect because he's not going to do anything because this guy's still alive. Which means... Everybody's ready to fight this guy and kill him. Which is going to be a huge... We're really safe right now, basically, is what I'm saying. There's like zero risk. And 
and her movement is just awful. She's so far behind. <laughs> Holy cow. Um, yeah, we gotta keep her surrounded right now. Uh, well, it's only one unit, so we can probably get Garrett's archer heading this way. That should be good, yeah. Okay, that was a good turn. Oh. oh yeah, that's very good. Perfect. I do not want to fight that Serpent Knight in the water. So that guy is going to start surfacing. He's got to come onto land now. I think she'll be fine if he does, but put her in the middle row. Uh, okay, it's a bit awkward. I'm really worried about this turn is that Serpent Knight. He's kind of the wild card here. Okay, we just gotta deal with him now. So we just gotta stick three commanders on his butt. What? I'm actually shocked at how much he just did. This guy can be very, uh, these guys can be very scary here. So, can we get, oh boy. Always does good against the Serpent Knights, so let's do it. You can't ask for a better trade than that in this type of scenario. Um, I think we give it to Thorn. Let's go, buddy. Don't let us down. Whew. Yeah, the Serpent Knights are a little scary at this level with the Tier 1 Commanders, but uh, that gave him a nice little XP boost that was sorely needed. Uh... This can get really dangerous really fast. Um, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight. I don't think too many units can reach her this turn, so I think she's okay. Next turn's gonna be ugly though, for sure. I think we can keep him there, keep him there. 
kill this guy. Here it's the great equalizer. All I gotta do is get this dude up here, keep these guys here. Well, yeah, as long as I can get Garrett right there, we're pretty solid. When he, as long as he keeps this one archer alive, which, to be fair, he is gonna end up killing it pretty soon. But he's still got troops. Uh, okay, we can get Calais through here. And we've got two more archers that we'll be able to help out. So, we're set to win this perfectly, if we're very careful. Um, because up here, that's one, two, three, four, five troops and a commander. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight troops and a big commander. Um, and we can kill these bosses, but we just can't kill this guy. And so that's these guys interacting with each other through AI is what screws everything up. So we'll see how it goes. We gotta be greedy though. It's more fun. When you've played this game a few times, you wanna see how far you can push the XP. Wow, he moved a lot faster than I predicted. <laughs> Yikes. Okay, that's fine. As long as she doesn't get totally surrounded. Okay, she's. They blocked her entrance. That's not good. Ooh, these royal guard horsemen are really tough too. So. him alive. She is in not the best spot to be in. Uh, um, Okay, he's staying put because of his soldiers, that's perfect. Because if he didn't have soldiers around, he'd be doing some stupid shit. <sighs> she is in such a bad spot though, it's terrifying actually. Uh, let's get her over here. I think she'll be okay this turn. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna throw themselves against this, which is also kind of scary for Garrett. I, I mean, this is gonna be a tough turn for him. Because this guy's got a lightning bolt. He is going to cast a magic lightning bolt that does three damage to him, so I need to get him healed. This turn we're safe, but next turn he's going to be in position, he's going to nuke him. Uh, I'd like to switch... Uh, that archer. Yeah, I need my archer over here. I need Garrett here, archer here. These horsemen can actually not go on the wall. They have to go through here, or circle over to here. So we do have a bottleneck. Ideally, we get her over here in that spot. It's a, yeah, this is pretty awkward. I think we're fine, though. Let's see how it goes.
Wait, what? Oh, they threw spears as they died. That makes sense, actually. I get it. Yep, alright, we're in a really good bottleneck now. Ooh, Lance's knights might do better. Not much better, but better. This could get ugly for her this turn. This could get really bad for her. Not much I can do about it. I'm gonna take that free kill. As long as he can't break through this, we might be able to... Oh, uh, it's so close. I don't know. They, if they start swarming down here, we're going to have to hold the mountains, I guess, which is a little bit messier against... These guys hit really hard. She's... So Saber has to survive this turn, and we have to restart. I do not want to do that again. <laughs> Saber as a knight is kind of a pain. for Garrett. Okay, so as long as they funnel all their horses into that spot, Saber will be fine. Damn. Okay. Yep, yeah, so he wasted his lightning bolt, which is perfect for us. Garrett just went up a level, so he'll do 10% more damage with the commander boost. Wow. Beautiful. Yep, everything held together just fine.
Easy turn. Yeah, see, he couldn't even finish that one archer. Oh, oh god. Great, now that commander... Yeah, well, this is timed pretty decent, though, so there is that. Um, but yeah, essentially, the, the idea is... Um, since Captain Clown Show over here wants to get busy. I can literally lose Sabre this turn. I'm. Why did I move her there? That was so stupid. I'm actually really pissed if I lose from that. I was doing so good. Oh, this fight is basically won. Why did I put... It's like my brain just turns off. It's like, why am I moving like that? Oh, uh, God. If that commander attacks her... Okay, that's perfect, actually. I mean, it sucks that this guy's almost level 10. But we can really crush this guy. Pretty good spot with that setup, so uh, yeah. 
just trying to think who gets the two commander kills, and uh, ideally it's Thorn and Tiburon. Alright, so see, those archers will keep him busy, so that's good. So yeah, now it, it can get, uh, ideally, we get this dude to kill, or Tiburon, either one is good, but, yeah. Now we just need to get him out of the mountains, which is going to be easier than you think. It's easy. It's either going to be a uh Scouts have reported that the enemy has begun to withdraw. There are chinks they couldn't breach this castle. Don't let them get away. After them. Full clear. No heroes lost. Finally. The enemy, failing in their attack of Anzel, withdraws. Garrett immediately orders the follow-up attack to finish them. Win, defeating the enemy's leader, chief commander. Lose, escape of the enemy. Death of Garrett. Uh, escape of the enemy. Oh, Royal Soldiers. Okay, he's got... 
two... Are those lords? This must be... Okay, he has... Like a commander, which is like a lord. And it looks like he's got four fighters. Two of those fighters are lords with archers. That must be what that is. So two super weak commanders, two medium, and one really strong. Um, okay. And we got our boy Bayard. So now we have a level 8 and a level 7. All three of these guys down here, very weak, all need to get promoted. items get them a little stronger uh one hour 24 uh actually it's getting pretty late so i think we'll call it probably start this mission next time we'll take let's just take a look though let's see what we're dealing with because i don't remember this mission very well supposed to be a pincher attack. These are the, oh, they're all fighters, okay. Just want to see how this goes. Favorable. Very favorable.
guess we're cutting them off with monks. We'll see how that goes. Oh boy. That's a good value play. Probably. Oh, Garrett, sorry about you, bud. Left you way back here. So we don't want you getting too much experience there, Garrett. We know how you get. You're already damn almost tier three and you got tier one commanders. Okay. Uh, this might be really fast, so we might just burn through this mission. Unless our good friend Lance shows up again. He wouldn't do that, though. Lance wouldn't come back here again, I don't think. Woody. We just show up with a bunch of cavalry. Robo Magus. Hey, bro. Hey, bud. Welcome to uh, some chill war song, bud. Finally made it on your stream. Yeah, man. That's a cool name. Awesome vid sub to your YouTube as well. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate that. I'm going to try to raise the quality up here in the future. for the night, but, you know, this mission, I think, I always like to kind of feel it out when I haven't played it a long time, and if we die, we die, but if we run through this, if we die, then I, I know how to approach it tomorrow, and if we don't, then that's, that's good too. I'm liking the idea of playing Warsong on a CRT, I'm a big fan of the game as well. Yeah, I highly recommend it, and... Honestly, you definitely feel the higher stakes without the save states. Um, and I've, the game itself just feels better with the controller than the keyboard and mouse. Or the keyboard, rather. Um, yeah, it's, it's a beauty of a game. Attempt scenario one without save states. Yeah, no, uh, I had to redo the last mission four times to beat it because I would, you know, you always want to get the most experience. So I was playing really high risk. I wasn't buying a lot of troops. I was trying to kill every single unit, which I did do on the fourth try because I bought enough archers. <laughs> okay, now this is where I'm thinking tomorrow, if because I have a feeling this isn't going to work, is I would put. Garrett up here with the archers to just kind of slow them down. Because now what we're going to be dealing with is this, which is pretty not ideal. Like, I know I can't even put a dent in him with one of these units, so it's like, why even bother? Uh, but maybe they'll engage. These guys are taken off, though, and that's bad. Attacking archers in a forest? Yeah, that sounds fun. Let's try this. I don't understand. See, it's just... The logic doesn't make any sense. Better... F he's in a better tile, and he should have advantage. He just doesn't. Soldiers are supposed to be crushing these archers. That's alright. Uh, 
Tiburon, get you up here chewing these guys up. Damn it. <laughs> oh man. Killing me, Smalls. That's fine. Yeah, we'll just... We'll just clear a path for Thorn to get to some of these commanders, probably. How many is this? Oh, he's got a lot left, but they're all low, so... Because we definitely want to chew through him. And get, uh... Gotta get Baird and... Oh, this is a weird angle. Very weird angles. But you know what else we can do? I gotta do it. Nice. I don't want old Greedy Garrett getting too many kills, but let's do this. good. Uh, Thorn's got this soldier here, right? Do that. Alright, this is super greedy, but we're going to do it anyway. down. Let me down. Nah, he did good. Uh, one, he's one hex out of range of healing him. So we'll just have to... Oh, I didn't even see this guy at six. Uh, that's okay. I'll just... Hold on. Okay, there we go. They'll only be able to attack Thorn from one side, so should be okay. Probably soften, soften up these archers. Mission seven is tough. I cannot agree more. Yeah, it, you know we, we got we got it just perfect on the last try. The only tougher challenge I can think of is saving Sabra from the elementals in Scenario 1. Yeah, man. I feel like you just have to keep reloading until you get, she has a good start. Well, plus, I mean, the only way you're going to even kill those elementals, if you're trying to kill those elementals, you'd have to get uh, Bayard on a fortification where they're going to attack from, like, the water. And just hope they funnel on him somehow. I don't know. That's a tricky one. I mean, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I've considered restarting this whole playthrough just to see if I can kill every single unit in there. I haven't. I could do it on a safe state. I'm pretty sure, relatively fast. But on here, that would be like a marathon, like an all day or even an all week thing. <laughs> Uh, it'd be interesting, though. Alright, let's see what they do here. Alright, I did kind of waste those guardsmen, but hopefully it doesn't matter too much. I think I do remember now. Garrett needs to be an archer in the one of the sides and flank. Saber has been risky to play with in general since I put her down the night path. For scenario one, it took months, not gonna lie. 
Oof. Yeah, actually, I could see that. <laughs> I could definitely see that. Go for, like, the... It'd be very cool, though, to get the perfect run. I guess you could probably... Like, what if you could get multiple rangers in one playthrough while getting everyone else to tier 3, level 5? You know? It'd be wild. The, uh, the best thing about this playthrough was getting Mina to uh, Priestess very quickly. It was crazy how much easier the game is than when she's still a cleric. Like, that defense boost is so good. She's, like, just as good as a lord. My goal was getting 100% XP with, while saving all NPCs. I would accept, for me... So, here's why... I, because I know you get to keep your NPCs if they die in that mission, right? I'm pretty sure, like, they still show up later. So, but I could understand why you want to do that as a challenge. I would like to just get 100% XP. <sighs> Actually, I can't even do that. Like, that would be too... Oh, man. Yeah, because Bayard will steal a bunch of XP, probably. Hmm. Yeah, I could see months. You're not wrong. Yeah, the more I think about that. Uh, well, we really wanted Thorn to get this kill, but I think we have to give it to old Tiburon, who's just... That's fine, too. He still has a long way to go himself, so it's whatever. Get these guys healed up. Get you another kill here, buddy. It'd be very nice if I could get all my low-level commanders to tier 2. That'd be such a big jump in survivability. I think she's doing a good job right here tying them up. Uh, but I... Yeah, let's just do that. Yeah, dude. Message it. I would love to see that, actually. That's very cool. I'm just going to put him here. I think that'll... F the commander might just take the... I think the commander is just going to absolutely destroy these. But it'll stop him from moving. I think. I don't know what these guys are going to do. He still has a lot of troops left, surprisingly. But, start closing that distance. Now, how cool is that attack? God, I love that firestorm. First time I saw that, blew my mind. Uh, oh, Bayard attacking archers head on. Sure, why not? <laughs> let's see how this goes. Actually, hold on, let's do this first. go super easy here. Minions of Priestess, nice job in Scenario 4. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to run her to Saint, which is kind of lame because I always do that. I just, the alternative is trying to like, what, try to run her all the way to like Ranger from Magic Knight or something? Like, I don't even know, dude. <laughs> I've never ran a ranger. I just don't think I've earned enough XP to even try it this run. Uh, but I've never made a grand knight. So Saber is going to go grand knight. And I, I got to tell you, it's not even worth it. Because I hate playing as a knight. Like, to hurt that defense while you're trying to give the shield to your tier ones. I had to restart because she got killed by a freaking fighter. Just like straight up soloed her. And I was like, damn it. <laughs> Alright, let's see what this does. Saint is awesome. It is. But I like, you know, I want to change it up each time and make the heroes do different classes. But like, am I honestly going to make Thorn anything but a magic knight? Of course not, you know? 
Uh, I mean, Tiburon's gonna be the Night Mat. He's always the token Night Master. Like, I remember the very first time I played made him a Serpent Knight. We all know that sucks because they they take all the fun out of being a Serpent Knight. So uh, let's get these. Soften that up for Baird. Yeah, yeah, the knight class is just really frustrating. And the, the horsemen are super underwhelming most of the time because same problem. They move slow and they don't really defend well against any unit, like it feels like, even against soldiers. Like, you know, what's gonna happen when she attacks this guy? Hmm. Is she gonna lose four horsemen? <laughs> Three. See, like, yeah, I mean, it's still favorable, I guess. I can't complain. I guess I'm expecting, like, too good of a trade. Uh, there we go. Let's get Garrett healing over here. This guy. That's Thorn Soldier. Where's Thorn at? Up here. Alright, let's give him that Archer kill. We're definitely getting Thorn to Lord, so that's that's going to be re uh, satisfying. Um, I think Mina's safe. I think she can take two hits if they turn on her, but they might just charge off. I think we're fine. Uh, yeah, we went really thin on the troops, and that's. I think it's going to work out. If it doesn't, we'll. We'll put uh, Saber and Garrett on the outside to flank next time or something. Archers. Dang it. I love these monks. I, I think they've got to be the the coolest base unit. They're like a soldier with spears, basically, I guess, right? That's just a nice... I know they have the undead bonus, but they just seem to do good against every type of unit. Like, they don't do terrible. Which is, by itself, kind of nice. Okay, wow, he completely ignored that unit. Yeah, we do have to... Okay, we gotta get our butts in gear, guys. Oh, it's Bayard. Sweet, man. I'll have to check that out later. Thanks. Yeah, I'm gonna watch that one when I get some time tomorrow. That's gonna be fun. I love that stuff. <sighs> Damn it. Alright, how do we do this? He's out of units. Okay, hold on. No, wait. I got this.
a bit of a gamble. Oh, we can both, oh. That's good. All right, crocodile man, take out these archers. Okay. I have vids of this game up to scenario five, now busy optimizing the following scenarios, hence I'm trying to go for a three ranger playthrough, which differs a lot tactics wise. Well, yeah, because you're funneling, uh, you're probably funneling what, Mina, Calais, and uh, Sabra? Or, yeah, right? Like you do Mina, Calais, and Sabra. So you gotta funnel all the experience into them as much as possible. I, I want to try that. I might do that as my next playthrough, but that's gonna be tricky too. That's so much experience. That's so tough on some of those time-sensitive missions. I'm, think, I'm imagining Scenario 7 trying to funnel Sabra. Well... God, I don't even remember how to go Ranger as Sabra. My brain is... Some major drawbacks for not having Sabra as a Dragon Knight. Yeah, yeah, that, that's what I'm, Dragonite is pretty cool, yeah, 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 that flanking is nice, and the movement. Uh, okay. Let's just get Garrett up here. Keep healing the hotches. Thorn. Alright. There we go. I forgot the I, I forgot the thing. I think I hope I don't have to make him a knight. That's right. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh, that's great. Oh, I'm very happy with this. That's what I thought. I thought I was going to run them as a lord anyway, so that's great. Uh, that's looking a little sketchy for that kill. interesting. <laughs> I kept him as a lord through the fun. <laughs> That's wild. Yeah, it's like a paladin, isn't it? Damn, I really wanted him to get the kill right then. That's super, super bummer.
damn it. About the second game in the series, it was never officially localized, but there's a pretty darn good English fan translation. It is called Langrisser 2. Yes, yes, I have heard of it. In fact, uh, I might even have it on the Sega. Uh, no, I don't. I think I think I got some weird version of it on my Super Nintendo EverDrive. Uh, we'll have to check that out after I. I think I, I was checking it out, and it is on my Super Nintendo. So yes, I do have it. I haven't given it a fair shake yet, though. There he is. There he is. Good old Lance here to feed my... Do I have any archers left? Uh-oh. We've only got one archer left. Ah, yeah, so I see. So I really did want to run Garrett on the bottom with archers and just run him straight here. Just start. Just a little line of archers right here would have been beautiful. Or, if one of these guys would have already been a lord, that's okay. How did he get to eight? Was he only at five? take out this archer. I wonder how he recovers so quickly. Yeah. Third? Um... Actually, it might even be the fourth. Or maybe I'm wrong. I think he was in that valley in scenario five. I feel like it's I think I feel like it's been back to back five, six, seven, eight. No. He wasn't at Baltia, was he? When we retook Baltia Castle. Six. He skipped six. Yeah, you're right. Oh, well, that's that's not great. Alright, why don't you two figure it out? Get the kill, please. Well, that answers that. Now, if you really this is your chance to become a knight. Hey. God, why couldn't they just make serpent knights move fast on land? That would have been such a cool class for him. They really took the fun out of that, didn't they?
He moves fast on roads but struggles with grass for a weird reason. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. I, they really screwed that up. Like, if they wanted to make him badass, they would have just made him just as quick on water as land. And just said, screw it, he doesn't have spells anyway, he's just a better knight. I guess that's what the Knight Master is, but like, he's the only knight with high defense. Well, for early game. Yeah, you know what, it's just a... Yeah. Tiburon just doesn't get any, any respect with the class advancement. Uh... I, I cast something already. Okay. Oh, we've got the archer here. Uh, we can't really screw around with these, though. We, we, we really wasted too many archers softening up units, which was bad. That was a bad play. Alright, just do that for them. Oh, they're out of range? Whoops. I'm playing pretty sloppy. attack one of these royal guards, but I'm a little... Uh, oh, the archer, the, yeah, it's too dangerous with that archer there. Oh, shit. I forgot about her. That would be suicide. good against Royal Guards, that's right.
For some reason, I thought he had to go up here. It's a bit awkward, but I think... God, I don't know. I need, like, someone with high defense. I need... I actually need Thorn. I need Thorn to come up here and... Freaking Mina. Like, these are the two I can trust with the defense. Even Tibron with the Night Shield, like 31 24. I don't know, like they just take so much. Well, maybe. Yeah, maybe Saber and them could, but then I gotta make sure they don't get lit up by these dudes. This is a tricky spot I'm in. This might be a redo for tomorrow, we'll see. It's, it's pretty close. greedy play. I could have killed him more efficiently with less heroes, but he better get this. Okay. Damn, he's not in level 9. Alright, um... Like at 7 HP, it's 7 divided by 2 plus 5, 3.5 plus 5, 8.5 equals 8. Oh wait, the max damage dealt by commanders is... Ah, right, 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 yep. I was just... Yeah, I just want... Okay. No, that's good to know. Yeah, because I've always noticed it's... Yeah. It's always like... A little less than your... Or sometimes around your uh, current HP little bit more. That makes sense. Why it could sometimes round up. Okay. Uh, what I'm trying to think of here is, do we soften up his other royal guard? Well, he's got a lightning bolt, so we gotta get big heals out, so let's just focus on that. Let's 
get her up there. That's probably the place. He's just gonna move that unit anyway. Alright, now if this guy starts healing himself again, that's good. I think we've got this. Alright, Tiburon is enjoying his new power. I used to play with RAM values in this game and gave Saber 127 HP. <laughs> that made her OP? Yeah, I bet it did. <laughs> a lot more OP than her as a knight in early scenarios, that's for sure. <laughs> Oh, I was even, that, that didn't even click, that just clicked in my head. Yeah, the extra, the, the guaranteed damage. <laughs> have all that crazy, okay, yeah, so he's, he's chilling there. Uh, why don't you go ahead and treat yourself there, Tiburon. And, uh, Sabra. I think Baird can help out a bit here, guys. Don't worry, he'll protect you. Baird will keep you safe. Ballsy here will get no. We'll definitely get Baird to Lord here on this, not this turn, but this this battle. I think without too much trouble. Get her up there. Uh, let's just say everybody with another fat heal. on three sides could be bad, so... Okay, let's try that. Let's try that. Two phase. While looking at the contents of this game room, I found an interesting text string player one phase and player two phase. So they definitely had bigger plans, but deadlines, I guess. Oh wow, yeah, this would have been such a fun game as two player head to head or co op. Absolutely. Oh man, if we could have made like a. If someone could make like a. If there was like a very easy to use tool set to recreate this you know, pixel for pixel, and make new scenarios, two-player, PvP, new classes, new heroes, I'd be all over that, 100%. Because the Langrisser 2 was looking pretty good, but it was already like a totally different kind of music style and visually. I just, I'm very attached to the visual audio style of this. So, but I'm going to definitely enjoy Langrisser too, but War Song 1 Extended? Yeah, that would be awesome. Okay. Uh, Alright, first. Well. No. First. We, oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> 
Okay. We got a lot of stuff we gotta deal with this turn. Start with this. That's fine. Oop. That's good for that. I, I can't ignore the fact that I have to deal with this guy. Scary, but fine. Uh, he won't heal either. Those won't. Neither of those will be healed. No one's gonna really do much of anything next turn. I could just start treating, but that doesn't make sense because we need to kill these guys. Getting there, Bayard. You're almost there, buddy. I should feed these to him. So I shouldn't even worry about those. These should heal here. Feed all these horses and maybe both of these commanders. I kind of don't have to do anything this turn. I should heal Garrett just because it makes me feel better. But I can't even get to Saber. I mean, they're all gonna be. It's fine. This is fine. We just treat. Yeah, we're good. What I would like to do, though, is make it a little safer for her. That's pretty good. This is perfect. This is easy. Yeah, okay. Okay, that actually surprised me. <laughs> I didn't expect that. I was hoping he would soften him up for Bayard. Um, oh, oh. oh, that's Thor! Oh, jeez. and Bayard are bros. They really are. Did he have to kill the archer? Was that necessary? Alright. Uh... Now getting sandwiched between their commanders could be very terrifying. <laughs> 
uh, but we're okay because of the way the AI is working, so I think we're fine. Why didn't I move him there first? I can't even soften Lance up, that's what's scary. I don't really have a way to soften him up right now. Look at that 35. Oh, he's terrifying. Uh, I wish I had some archers left. Or some spell power to deal damage. Basically, they divided agility stat into a defensive and an offensive counterpart. Oh my god, why did he attack? He has his archers, his horsemen are alive still. The madman. Oh my god, that was way too close. <gasps> no, wait. Wow, that could have went so much worse. <laughs> Ooh, that was scary. That was the definition of scary. Randomized evasion percentage. Ah. I didn't know that. Now who would have saw Bayard killing Lance as a fighter? I didn't kill the other horse! God. I'm batting a thousand today, let me tell you. Batting an absolute thousand. Alright, Garrett, do your thing. Okay, wait. Terrain doesn't give any defense bonus. It's a randomized evasion percentage. While your level determines your randomized hit accuracy rate. Ah, so those percentages that I'm seeing are hit percentages, not damage. That makes sense. Alright, we got her to level 5, so she's well on her way to her Grand Knight journey. It's over for now. Your Highness, we've just received words from Baltia that they are ready for an attack on Dalsis. Good. Pythion, your fate is sealed. I'm coming for you. Not bad. GG indeed. That was a good... That was not too bad. We didn't do perfect, but it's like 95% XP, so pretty good. Oh, I love this mission, if I recall. 
Uh, finally, Garrett starts his advance on Balsus. However, Pythion placed a defensive army along the river Worth to await the arrival of Garrett's men. Win, Garrett's escape. Lose, death of Garrett. What do you mean, escape? What, just because he has a Grand Knight and a Serpent Knight? And three fighters and probably Lance showing up? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. Yep, the Krakens. So we got to deal with these and the monsters, and we want to kill all the monsters and all the men. Northern edge of the map. Yeah, I want to kill everything, though. Of course, but I get what you're saying. Yeah, so we have to avoid doing that. Yeah, we're going to do this one tomorrow. I just want to take a quick look at it, because, like you said, it's long. But look at that. we got Knight, th Lord, Lord, Priestess, Knight, Wizard, Lord... And he, she, she and Garrett, that's crazy, she slowed down a lot, she's only level two. Uh, so we can, we need to get her to level five, so she can be useful again. Her and Mina getting to level five probably should be the priority. But at this point, it doesn't feel too bad. And so I really don't care because everybody's tier two. But once everyone's level five and get all those spell bonuses, that's super nice. Uh, so I'm thinking when I play this one, do I even need soldiers for this? Uh, don't the guardsmen do good damage against the monsters? I would like to test that. Maybe tomorrow. We'll test that. I think, I feel like these do good against some of the stuff. Uh, ooh, itemization. Probably we give the shield to Sabra. Give the great sword to... I mean, Garrett's already smoking him. through spells. I'm being stupid. You can have the shield. You can have the cross. Knights are too weak. They scare me. They're very scary. I do like her with the great sword, actually, though, because we do want to get her some levels. That's actually a good setup. Tier 2 for everyone? Yeah, dude. I'm so... I've only... I mean, I've played through the game a few times, but I haven't really tried to optimize. I've beaten the game twice. Last time was like three years ago on a ROM, right? And that was just kind of, you know, a power run, try to farm on the way, but I wasn't perfect. This is definitely a more optimized run. And the first time I beat the game, I was a kid, like thir 12, 13. So yeah, it's been a while. So this third, there's significantly better already. Um, archers are always good. Horsemen, I feel like the students just suck. Like I don't want to buy anything. Like, Archers are always good, probably. I'm gonna definitely test the horsemen out just to see if they're any good. Test the monks out. They probably don't matter on this map. Alright, let's just see what we're looking at here. I also never gave Calais a shield, except for the Magic Knight. I like how she is literally designed as a feisty pants glass cannon. Like it's even reflecting in her ending in 1993 PC Engine remake. I didn't know there was a PC Engine remake. Now I gotta look that up. You, you got this whole can of worms open for me. <laughs> oh god, I do hate this map though. But we can just dig, oh, but we can't dig in because we want to fight the Krakens and get the XP. So this is going to be weird. Um, Alright, I feel like just naturally I want to put one knight on each end, even though that doesn't make any sense. And then a lord, I don't even care which one. And 
then have our casters and old good old Garrett. Let's just see how that looks. It's either speed or XP, yeah. So that's the most important guy to deal with first. Oh wow. Yeah, because all the Krakens are going to show up. I think if I can just get everybody here, I can probably deal, because I know the crate. there's going to be those stupid fish everywhere. How far can I make it in one turn? Pretty far, actually. It's not bad. bait them up here, yeah. Maybe there is a play to be made up here at the peak. Because then, like, the Krakens, I feel like they spawn in the dark waters, don't they? Probably. Yeah, let's just run out there and die. <laughs> I like how they gave those lizard men 27 attack, but the pathetic 8 defense made up for it with a huge evasion on water, so enough of them, enough of them evade attacks there to deal high damage. Yeah, the lizard men are a tough cookie to crack without archers on land, basically, is the best way to, for me to deal with them, usually. Uh, yeah, I wonder how this works out. If I can get them... If I go up here, okay. Well, we'll have to test those theories tomorrow. So. It's getting really late here. I, I didn't even mean to do that last mission. It just worked out. Since the next one's so long, we'll save that for the next stream. Thanks for the stream, bro. Good night. Yeah, man. You too, Robomagus. Uh, everybody have a good evening. See you guys on the next one.